Welcome back to the channel. I'm Crypto Trend Trader, and today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and the crazy actions been going on in the market. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you it's not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. These markets are extremely volatile, so please do your own research and trade responsibly. All right, this is the uh, Kraken chart, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the daily here so we can kind of see what's going on. All right, so basically what happened is we we're about to get the death cross the green uh, bright one right here and the blue bright one right here or we have the uh, simples which is the lighter colored blue one or the darker one the thinner one and the darker green right here so they were both about to cross over price action was below them we came down off the 377 and been basing off of it and then we got that dump and that dump was a spring we came all the way down base down here and then shot straight up that was a temp of the market or of the bots or algos or you know some whales out there to essentially defend the death cross attempt to stop it from happening so as soon as we got above the 200 and we got the close yesterday which was in between the 200s and below the 50s we got continuation the continuation took us above now it took us huge I mean depending what exchange you look at we went as high as 10.5 on some exchanges. We're now currently back at 9,100. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it depends right now. We're waiting for basically the market to, to essentially say, like, you know, where it wants to go from here. But this looks like a huge rejection right now. It looks like we attempted to defend the death cross from happening. It looks like we're getting rejected. So if we close anywhere in this region, we're not going to get, you know, anywhere from where we're at right now, 9,100 to back down here at 8500 we're not really getting any resolution but without that that was close to a change in market structure but not quite because look this is our channel we've been operating inside of the whole time I'm gonna turn off the moving averages now just so it's a little more clear this is the channel we've been operating the whole time and we came down here to the bottom and then we got like kind of consolidated and moved back towards the middle and then we got the rejection from the midline came back down consolidated and then we got the bounce it took us all the way up outside of the channel but with this massive rejection now you know we're essentially back inside of it otherwise I would have said that that could essentially be a change in market structure but the fact that we got rejected rejected like I mean this is a huge wick right here this is a massive rejection you know it's super bullish when we move up like that but we need it to maintain prices right there otherwise it just looks like a a massive case of FOMO basically is what it looks like let's go back down to the four hour now and look at it again and now you see again more clearly what happened is we got that pump up out of the channel came back closed inside of it on the four hour and then we've been slowly just selling back off now and now essentially what I think is gonna happen is we're gonna come back down and we're gonna test this line as support and then I think what will happen is I think this line which was the top of the channel we were operating in is going to be support we will kind of consolidate inside this range right here and then we can decide all right are we really going to do this but if we continue to get rejection like this we're looking for the follow-through we got a massive wick a massive you know pump up a lot of volume on that on that last candle especially but you know was it just a stop on that's what we got to be really careful of right now so um, but you'll see we came back down and we're right back on top of the 377 on the 4 hour now again. So essentially we're just we're just waiting for resolution at this point in time. I mean if you're not already in a trade other than scalps, I mean there's there's not a lot right here because we're close to a change in trend, but we haven't quite gotten it. Essentially what that looks more like to me is it looks like basically if you were trapped in a position from up here and then that big dump came in and then that spring it gets pushed all the way back up and now people get a chance to unload their positions so regardless of what you want to say if we can't get above this area right here it just means there's more sellers than buyers it means more people you know are trying to dump their position they were under underwater in than there is people coming in to just come buy at this price and that's a problem a lot of times with a massive move like this so quickly when it happens like that people FOMO in at the end and get caught in it and then other people who didn't get into a trade aren't rushing to get back into one now because essentially what they're seeing is wait there's not any follow through you know so that's the situation we're in right now I just wanted to touch base um, we're close to a market you know a basically change in trend 
but we just didn't quite get there. Uh, if you go back over now to like the weekly, we can take a look at this. Turn this back off here. We had fallen out of the Bollinger Bands. Again, it's the same thing. I mean, as as the Death Cross, the the 5200. Essentially, what I suspect is going to happen right now in this weekly is we could do whatever for the next two days. But by the time we close tomorrow, if we close back under 8900 range, if we close back under 9000, we're basically no longer defending the 1021 because close, closing below it, the 10 is going to come down uh, to meet the 21, which is essentially what we attempted to do. We basically had a huge sell off a huge pump up and now we're right back in the middle and if we do anything other than close this week above you know basically 8900 we're just we're basically just continuation we didn't break through the weekly trend on the SAR so we're still going down we did make it all the way down to the 89 um, we'll see what happens I mean we have to just basically wait at this point in time but as far as I'm concerned this isn't a change in trend yes it was a massive move if you got a piece of it I mean, congratulations. If you got a piece of the short off the top here, congratulations. You know, the volatility is back in a big way. At least, you know, even if you don't catch a huge move like this, there's moves to be made after the move. So, you know, whether you're getting rid of a bad position, whether you're getting rid of a good position, whether you're positioning yourself for the next move, I mean, right now, as far as I'm concerned, the trend in the market hasn't changed. We're still basically in a downtrend. We're still basically selling off until we get confirmation otherwise. Uh, this candle is starting to look very bearish. It went from extremely, extremely bullish to potential continuation to, you know, extremely bearish, especially if this continues to sell off. And, I mean, if we even, if it even turns red and closes, I mean, that's big time. So we still got a couple hours uh, to see how the four hour squares up, but that's our daily right there, which, like I said, you know, not looking great. Basically, if we can stay above this 377, I think we'll be okay. And then we can close the daily in a good way and possibly get a little continuation some kind of strength coming in but the weekends are are statistically known for like you know thin order books so it's easier to get like a big move like this coming into a weekend we got to really see where the follow through is at and you know where this is at in in relation to like you know futures because uh you know the differentiation between like spot differential between spot you know and uh and futures and stuff is that can make for big, big market changes, big gap fills, etc. Et so, all right, guys, there we have a crypto trend trader with a quick update on Bitcoin. We're going to keep our eyes on the chart. I'll be back with daily videos. All right, crypto trend trader signing off.